Hello, hello. I'm hoping that this works tonight. Um, my internet seems to be a little bit slow. Mm, I hope I can pick up. Uh, let me see if I can get this live stream going. It'll echo for a second. Yes, I've got seven people watching. Thank you for coming by. Hold up for a second. I can mute the sound. It'll echo for a second. Yes, I've got for just seven a second. people watching. Thank you I hope to see you guys in the chat. Just a second, second please. Um, thank you guys for the watching. thumbs up. Thank you. I hope to see you guys in the chat. Thank you, Patricia, for being here. Hi, Carol. I'm just getting the screens popped out. It'll be just a second here. And I want to be able to see you guys and uh, watch the live stream at the same time. It takes me a second to do this. I'm going to need to get this off the table. Carol, Eli, DF Network. I'm actually, yes, I'm making something, but I'm finishing up something too. Oh, Nis is here. Hi, everyone. Hi, Gail B. You guys, if you don't mind, I'd appreciate if you do the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Welcome, everybody. I'm so excited to be back live. And I'm going to do it as long as my energy permits. Um, pull the screen down so I can see what it looks like and then I'll pull the actual chat up and now we're ready to go stone misfit mafia hello stony that is a new name I don't understand why see this is the fifth time that's happened if I don't go live in several weeks um your blue goes away but also, it happens if you change your name. Oh, thank you for being here. If you guys don't mind to shout uh, it out, I'd really appreciate it. Welcome, Nis. Welcome, Gail. Uh, um, well, uh, welcome, Carol. And... Uh, Patricia Angel and Eli and family. Um, Karen Crochet, DF Network. Um, my, if it's a little bit slow, if you can't hear me, yes. If you change your name, I have to give you a wrench also. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to be making. It's a book called the Necronomicon, and it's another horror book. And this is by um, H.P. Lovecraft. Welcome, everybody. And this is said, I'm at the hospital doing physiotherapy. I hope you get strengthened and it feels good. You're sewing? Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Well, this is the creepy book with the face that's supposed to look like skin. And this is what I made. And Stoney knows what I used to make it. And she called them pinners at one time. But I'm going to have to do that again for the back of it. Now, I was talking with um, Michelle, Foxy Escapes, and M from M is a Gym. And they watched me make that ear. Thank you, Stoney. So the back of it does not have a lot of wrinkles on it. And I plan to add some more of that tonight. Now, the other books that, <laughs> and Alicia didn't even know what they were. But can you guys see the spooky, scary face on this? These are the eyes. And this is like the nostrils. And that's the top lip. And this is just supposed to be a horror book. And I looked at this picture. And I made this. And so yesterday when I was speaking with um, Michelle and I was speaking with M from M is the Gym, I took some Sculpey clay 
this is it it was just polymer clay and i made this human ear by hand and then i baked it according to temperature and it got you know really hard like stone and i'm going to put it on the side of the book like that doesn't that look like a human ear though you guys this is the first ear i've ever made so you guys be patient with me i've never made that before so what do you guys think about the ear patricia welcome thank you for being here and gail b i bet nis likes the creepiness of it it's this what do you that's creepy as hell but in a great way i love it so van goes missing an ear and i have it carol i want to welcome you to the stream too you're a sweet one that i love as well and i have much love for all of you thank you everyone for being here i hope everyone wants to give me a thumbs up and or either direction you know but i'm going to be using this later but for now, before I glue it on here, I'm going to put this aside safely and uh, show you what I bought to make the mold. I bought a product called Easy Mold Silicone Putty. Do you guys see it? And uh, you can mix it up and in 25, 30 minutes, it sets. And you have your own mold. So if I ever make another one of these books, I won't have to use the clay and sit there and figure it out. I can just press the clay into the mold, lift it up, and boom, I have it. Everyone grab your peppermint tea and pinners. We're crafting tonight. Yes, and I need to do another painting because I wouldn't do another one without you here, Stoney, because we had such a great time. You're having a junk food night? Oh, gosh, I've had so many of those in my lifetime. And, man, it shows. I'm just going to leave this ear right here on the table. And, and girls, you know, and gentlemen, too, you know. I have sharp instruments nearby and uh, there was a news article in my local newspaper that this woman had strangers creeping up on her property i'm ready i got paint already and poster board cool this had cereal for breakfast that's always good i could eat cereal for dinner sometimes okay the directions I got these in case I needed them, and I went in the kitchen, and I got my good stuff. What I was going to say was, you guys keep your eyes open because there's already folks, you know, trying to come up to your property and steal from you now that everybody is uh, choosing to put themselves on lockdown for a couple of weeks just to be on the safe side. There's folks going around wanting to come in and steal your toilet paper and your food i guess <laughs> hannah hello say hi to your mom welcome honey i'm so glad to have you here hannah i've got something creepy i've got the ear that van gogh cut off and you hope you guys don't mind if i take a sip of water toilet paper thieves yeah they going to need it because I'm going to scare the you know what out of them. Oh, my God. Mm. Um, hold on for a second. I'm, I'm sharing it out as well. Hannah, tell your mom I'm here. If you're anywhere near her. Oh, 
Okay. So I'm going to put on my reading glasses and get started with this so it won't be forever and ever. Thank you guys for staying. It looks like I've got eight people here now. They're going to need it. They come in my yard. I have a 90 pound red nosed pit bull that's going to get that. Uh, yeah, they come in my yard. Yeah, the looting has kind of already started in some areas. But anyway, the directions for this is easy mold silicone putty has three minutes of working time. And this is what I bought. It's the purple putty. It has three minutes of working time at 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius. Cooler temperatures will result in slightly slower curing rates, while warmer temperatures will result in faster. Well, duh. Therefore, work quickly when making your mold. Be sure to have all your original pieces ready. Got it. Mix only enough to make one mold at a time. If working with gloves, use vinyl or nitrile gloves which are sulfur free. Quickly knead together equal amounts of by weight or volume of components A and B. So component A is white. It says so right on the label. And component B is the purple stuff. Much love, everyone. I have the sewing machine running. Oh, I'm so glad you came. Miss Hannah said, better catch it, Miss Gail. <laughs> Hannah Sumter, how you doing? How's your mom? Um, let's see. So I'm going to take the tape off of it before I can start playing with this at all. At all. Because this is going to be fun, everybody. I've never used this before. First time live on TV. Wait, live on YouTube. Um, after I get done making this book, I want to come over to D Life because I want to finish this book first, so it'll be one entire playlist. But how would you like for me to go to you D Live so I can play my jams and everything? Hannah, you read my mind. If you hadn't said it, I was about to see. Now I thought it. Goodness. It's like making a prank phone call and say, is your refrigerator running? You better go catch it. Okay. Taking the tape off of this one too. Let me see. Come on now. Terry, I was just thinking about you all today. How are you? It's been a while since I've been feeling good enough to go live. I am so honored and blessed to have you here. Thank you for coming by. I'm working on the HP Lovecraft Necronomicon book. And I'm going to make a mold of the ear that I made to go on the spine of the book. If I can manage to get the tape open, that is, off the container. Um, but that's what I'm doing tonight. If you know Terry or and Al, are you familiar with the Necronomicon? The HP Lovecraft Book of the Evil Dead. Okay. Well, I fought the tape and I won. So it says use equal parts together by weight or volume, A and B, and swirl until swirl-free uniform color is achieved, which is about one minute. Roll the needed components into a ball and then flatten slightly. Press the object into the putty to form the mold or apply the putty it into the piece. Leave the object in the putty and allow it to cure for about 25 minutes. Belinda, welcome. Hello, thank you for coming by the barnyard chicken. Yes, ma'am. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you for coming by. Yes. I can. 
but but I had made um an ear. I sculpted this myself by hand yesterday, Lisa, with Sculpey clay, and I baked it. And I'm going to make a mold out of it so I can have the mold of the ear for the next time I make a a creepy, scary book that needs an ear. So, um. I think this one may be food safe. I'm not sure. Oh, yes. The community over on D Live is so wonderful. And the reason that I am still over here on YouTube is because I wanted to complete this book. So I would have an entire playlist. And I don't plan on ever leaving YouTube because this is my home. I do want to do both though. Thank you for everyone being here and the thumbs up too. That cheers me up. That makes me feel good. So uh, what I was making was a creepy scary book that someone had wanted and it looks like skin. And um, I used uh, just paper towels and glue and a big book to make it look like that before I painted it. So you can see the whole thing before I painted it. And I've done that the front and the spine and the back, everyone. I have not painted it yet. And instead of it being a book on the inside, I'm just going to glue it and make it a box because someone wanted it to put their gun in. So this is what the cover is going to look like when I'm done painting it. And I've just used paper towels. You have two dragon eyes to make a book cover and I've saved and I use coffee filters that are stained. Oh yes, that's a wonderful technique. And I have dragon eyes as well. Miss the barnyard chicken that's up there in the chat is the sweetest thing. She sent me eyes to make dragon eyes or whatever I wanted to do. Doll eyes. And I did an opening and it's uh, one of my videos here on my channel. She is so sweet. And I follow her on Instagram. I follow her here on YouTube. And I just really enjoy her content. She makes stuff I like. I'm into paper crafting and stuff too. And I love making junk journals. And she's been making mini notebooks. And I finally got a laminator because I was watching her. And that was something I didn't have. And I was like, I should have been doing that a long time ago. So I just got me something off of Amazon. So... Um, every time she shops, it makes me want to shop because Lisa's got better things in her area than I do. Oh, and Lisa, they closed my Tuesday morning here. M is a gym is here. Yay. All my sweet, my sweet ones are here. So, M, I, if you're just now getting here, I finished with the ear last night. And I baked it. And I'm going to do the mold of it. Fallen Angel. Welcome. Yeah, I got there the last day. And I was there was hardly anything left at all. And my closest Tuesday morning is an hour away. And I won't be going very often. Hanging with Mr. J. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. So that's what I'm doing with this ear. This ear is going to be going, thanks for the advice from M last night, that the ear should go here on the spine of the book instead of on the back like I was thinking. I think it's much better so we can lay the book down. And because it's going to become a book box, I'm going to glue the edges together and cut out the center. And I spoke the gentleman that was interested in it and he told me how wide the opening needed to be for what he was going to put on the inside of it so i'm going to move this aside because i'm going to have to do some more on the back it doesn't have enough wrinkles on the back before i paint it jay is here my ears are ringing why is my buddy my brother my ears are ringing oh my goodness my computer is so crazy tonight. It's so slow and it's just staggering and jumping. But this is the creepy book of skin. And this is the reference picture I printed out. 
and uh and that's what I made here. I'm trying to get my chat to go a little bit faster on my computer. Um, you guys are probably delayed. I'm watching my stream yards. So um, I'm going to move this aside so I can go ahead and make the mold. And I won't have any trouble doing that. So he was... Kimber, hi. It's so good to see you again. It's been so long since I've been here. And I went and got my good measuring spoons. And hopefully I won't contaminate us all. Welcome, Kimber. Thank you for your message. Yes, um, he's a... I don't guess he'll mind me saying, but he's a gun collector and he was wanting to put one of his guns on the inside of that box. So it says not to make any more than I need and to put in equal amounts. So I'm going to scoop out this. This is my first time making this mold, you guys. I'm going to move this ear way up here so it can't hear me exactly. With like, be on again when I'm at home. Okay, honey. I look forward to it. And then, uh, just be safe. Welcome back when you can. And so I'm using one teaspoon of each. Be right back. I have to give my dog her medicine. So I know I've got equal amounts of each thing. So I didn't use this and I didn't use the measuring cup. I am so happy to have you guys in my chat. Thank you. So it said just mix all this up till it's not swirling anymore, till it's one color. So, oh, this feels nice. This is like Play Doh, you guys. This is real soft. It's got a little bit of an oil to it, but I like it. One wonders what other body parts she is expert at. <laughs> I don't know, huh? I just looked at this. I looked at a picture. Um, <laughs> your wife watched me just look at a picture off a phone and made it. This is my first ear and it leaves a lot to be desired. But I think it's okay for a first run. I think it's okay for a first try. What do you think if it's your first try? Lisa says gray. Oh, it popped like bubble gum. Um, yeah, I see you, Jay. Jay Mac and Emmy are married, if you guys don't know. And they're my very, very good friends as well. Beacons of Light, how are you? I'm getting better. Um, it, it, I've had a time, but I think I'm getting better all along. And thank you so much for being here. I'm working on finishing up the one book that I started. It shouldn't take me long because I've got a couple of other things underway and josh it's so nice to have you here well that didn't take long for it to turn purple not at all thank you guys for the thumbs up and thank you for sharing it out um making sure the lids to this is on tight because i like to use it again sometime i'm going to put it back in the box because i think this might be all I need after all. So oh, cool, cool. Carolyn, hi. How are you? It's nice to see you. It's been a while. Thank you for coming back. I'm going to take small pieces of this, I guess, and I'm going to start putting it in the indentations right here. 
Belinda, I'm happy to have you here. You and uh, Mike used to come and say that you were real quiet. You were just watching me craft away. It's like if you guys have ever heard about Van Gogh being a depressed artist and whacking off his ear. Um, you can just say I found it. <laughs> Well, squeeze it long enough, anything turns. But Jay, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. I know, dear, my grandbaby takes time and sleep. It's perfectly fine. I understand. I do remember now that you mentioned it. You know, you have your grandbabies and everybody has a life. And I wasn't shaming you. What I meant to say was I was happy to see you again is what I was trying to say. And if it didn't come out right, I'm sorry. Welcome back. <laughs> okay. I'm so glad to have you guys here. Man, this is setting up too fast. I need to stop running my mouth and start smoothing this out. Getting this on the ear. Oh my goodness. This See, this is setting up already. Oh no. I was talking and talking. Hi, Tamara. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for being here. I just messed up some mold. Because I was talking too much and it's expensive. You don't have enough. You're right. But I don't know what to do about this part. It's already sitting up and I can't mold it. So... I'm going to try it again. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever used it. And I hate to waste it because it was not cheap. I'm so happy to have you guys here. It makes my heart happy. Let's see if I can get this to work again. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate your help. She's a darling. She really is. Lisa, can I mix it with this? Well, I don't think so. It's already it's already a mess over here. Hope I don't mess up the whole thing. It's um Easy mold silicone putty. And I've never worked with it before. And I'm trying to get it to where I can use it before it gets... It has to be the same amount of both. I used the spoon and I made sure that I did get that much. Yes. Hi, Bridget. Thank you for coming to see me. hoping I don't miss it. I'm not messing it up again. I'm going to make sure I've got enough up here. It's going to go in all the holes and everything. I've never tried this before and I messed this up for real. No.
Oh. You guys are being so nice to each other in the chat. And I don't know what to do with this. This purple mistake. It's just not fixable. This was a learning lesson. I hope I've not ruined this too. I'm sorry, I got quiet. I wanted to do this better than the last time. I don't like wasting product. You can't mess up your own art. Well, I'm making a mold, and I did mess up the product. And the, it's very expensive to buy, so I'm upset with myself. She has a beautiful soul and an honorary mind. <laughs> Every single one of us says, you must have had too much harder in the first batch. And I wonder about that, because I took the measuring spoon for both of them and it just hardened up almost immediately and this one is still soft but thank you for helping me lisa i really appreciate it this is you know this is the first time i've ever used it and i guess there's a learning curve to it and um everybody's going to start somewhere I'm going to try to slide it off of here so I can pick it up and uh, mold it around and let it set up. I guess I'll let it set up over here. Nalisha, you're awesome. Well, Tamara, I think you're awesome. I think all of you guys are awesome. I haven't been live in a month, and here you all are to come and help me and encourage me because I've really been through a battle lately and I've found friends and I found family that I didn't even know I had it's very hard to get it right oh that makes me feel a little better because this is the first time I've tried the product and you know what's embarrassing I've watched it be made and I actually measured it out carefully I used the spoon and I went and measured it out. But maybe one was a heaping spoon and the other one wasn't because I didn't level it out. What would you do with this, Lisa? Because I hate to throw it out if it can be used for something else. And I chop it up and put it into something. Oh, Mr. J, welcome back. I'm glad to have you. He is the nicest person. He's one of the nicest gentlemen that's up here. You know, I do have nice people. I always use a coupon when I buy it. Yes, ma'am, I did too. I always use a coupon when I buy it. <laughs> buy anything when I go to um, Hobby Lobby or um, Michael's. So I always use the coupon. Well, I've made an ear tonight, but Lewis Fuller, nice to see you, sir. I'm, I'm doing much better than I have been physically and emotionally, and uh, I'm just going to start. Lisa, what would you do with this uh, bit here? It, I mean, it hardened up immediately in my hands. 
make earring bead thingies with it. It's not plant. It's just rubber now. Well, I'll save it because somewhere I'll figure it out. I really will. Because you're all ears. <laughs> Cry and go buy more. You know what I'm going to call it is an investment in my education. That was my class. And in the future, I'll be careful when I measure it out. <laughs> and yes, ma'am, I always use a coupon when I have to go buy something, especially if it's pricey like that. Because, um, well, I just know, can I just cannot do that. The things that I'm going to be working on tonight, even though I showed you what the cover of this looks like. And it's going to be this creepy book. Very creepy. Very scary. One of the most evil kind of haunted books you might ever hear of in your whole life. Um, take pieces to glue on the lid as wrinkles. Um, it's not long enough, Terry. I'm going to um, work on the back here and put some more wrinkles on the back. Gosh. Thank you. This is what the cover is going to look like. And I'm going to work on making the creepy stuff on the back. Like I did when I was making the Hocus Pocus book. And you guys were here watching me make that book from the movie Hocus Pocus starring Bette Midler. And I made the um, a Harry Potter book. The Monsters Book of Monsters. And this is the third one I've made on my channel. And it's called the Necronomicon. So what I need to do is get around the edges. Did I make this? This, this? Yes. And I'm going to make the back to be creepy and have more wrinkles in it as well. I'm going to use um, paper towels. The paper plates actually that I set out here. And paper towels that I bought long ago. Don't get mad at me for using up products I have in my house. Oh, thank you, Bridget. I can't get this open. Oh, there I go. Okay. I think I'm going to use this bowl so it won't spread out everywhere. I'll just put this paper plate up. Um, you guys are always welcome to watch my thought process. You've seen me do it many, many times. I'll do something and I'll change my mind and I'll do something. I appreciate your encouragement and your compliments and your comments after I'm finished and everything. It means a lot. It really helps me um, stay encouraged. Be back soon. Need a coffee? Bring me one back too. I'm going to be, it's one o'clock my time, so... I'm going to put my glasses on here, put a little uh, glue in here. No toilet paper. <laughs> no, I'm not giving up toilet paper for that. I've got, um, I've got dinner napkins and I've got paper towels. <laughs> okay. Just a second. I've got my. I'm sitting in here barefooted, you guys, and I got. My toes somehow got this, uh, my phone cord between my toes and that was bothering me. <laughs> silly. I'm silly. But anyway, it's 1147 there. It's 1247 here. I've been laying down most of the day. I have not been feeling good the last couple of days. I've had some stomach trouble going on and it's just part of my life. There's nothing seriously to worry about. I'm already being treated for it regularly. It's just another one of my episodes of it. it seems to come and go with stress. Dinner's ready. 
Okay. Let's see. I'm going to move the directions to the silicone and put it aside because uh, I'm not going to be needing that here for a minute. I'm going to be mixing some water, just a little bit of water with this glue and using my brush here. You went to H-E-B and it took forever. I bet it did. I bet they're crazy everywhere. I've been in the house for the last several days. And I'm just going to put myself on a... I'm going to put myself on lockdown just to keep away from people. And I had basics of groceries delivered for things that... Uh, you know, that aren't going to spoil, for example. But yeah, it's taken me a while to get to feeling better. And uh, I'm just uh, tearing off long pieces of this and twisting it up. And I'm going to make some wrinkles and glue it to the book. And it's just one part glue and one part water. It's two part glue and two parts water. And uh, I'm twisting it up. You've been in your home for days. So have I, Tamara. And it's okay because I'm trapped at home with all my craft supplies. Boo hoo. <laughs> You're getting coffee. Anyone want a cup? Yes, sir. Two creams and the three creams and two sugars, please. Just like, I don't want this laying flat. I wanted it twisted, more like a rope. I have to go out. You got your eye surgery Wednesday. Oh, no. I didn't know that. I'll keep you in my thoughts and prayers, Belinda. I hope all goes well for you. Um, and I hope you have a good night's sleep. And thank you for coming by. Thank you for coming back, Kimber. You gave her meds, folded and put away a load of laundry and started another one. Is Emmy and J Max still here? Is Stoney still in the house? Yes, thank you, Emmy. I'm just putting this down and I'm kind of echoing whatever I lay down here because I want to make it look like I wanted to make it look like stitches in a little bit, it's like it had been cut. And so I'm getting my hands all nasty. Jay, I hope you're feeling better. I'm canceling my doctor appointments until this virus passes. I don't blame you. That's the last place I want to go is where people are really, really sick. And I'm staying in the house and um, staying away from everybody, which is what I normally do anyway. I'm in the house for weeks at a time. So... It's not anything I'm going to have to get used to. You said it's. Uh, it 
if you don't have to be there, I wouldn't go. And um, I've got an autoimmune disorder. And if you, even when my granddaughter was living here, if she would come home with a cold, I ended up with an upper respiratory infection. It was just really, really rough on me being around sick people. I get it pretty fast and I get it pretty hard. I heard Dollar General is going to let seniors shop the first hour they open. Then everyone else can shop after that. So I read that on Instagram too, Lisa. I did. But I also heard that, you know, there's some stores that are rationing how much that people can buy as well to make it fair for everybody. But I used to be a couponer way back, and um, I don't do it anymore. But from that, because it's more complicated now than ever, and I just don't have the time. But from that, I learned how to be really stocked up on things. Ah, I hear you, Terry. And Terry, I was thinking about you today, and I was thinking about the runes that you guys do, and I'm still really fascinated because you've had, um, I just dumped this glue all over my book, trying to get a, a hair off my finger there. Okay. Um, it's not going to hurt it, but I don't want it dripping all over the floor either. So, definitely prayers for Belinda that this will be successful. This will definitely be successful. You and that you will be glad that you did it. Things are getting crazy at the stores now. Yeah, they sure are. But we're going to be all right. We are. This is going to pass like everything else does. Thank you guys again for being here. I can't believe I have 10 people in my chat tonight. I really appreciate that you guys have taken the time to come over and spin with me while I try to finish this book up because I have some really pretty things I want to get into. Our Native American casino closed. Hi, Laura. I'm I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. I'm trying to get this hair off of my finger. I have one long black hair. I wonder whose that is. Hmm. I'm not surprised at all. I think it's a good idea. You can only buy two of those items, even though they're different in total. Runes take a little learning, like tarot cards. Well, I'm kind of on a path now from now on forward and uh you know it'll be a practice but i was fascinated and i still haven't quite got over it i had my husband stop and get 10 pounds of potatoes carrots less milk and he bought four or five pounds of onions i'm gonna have to cook now oh gosh that sounds good i'm glad my pt is still open oh yes me too I'm glad for you. Welcome back, Bridget. I just now caught that. And welcome, Laura. I'm glad you came to visit me, too. I've got 12 people in here now. And thank you guys for the thumbs up and for sharing it out. And everybody coming in here when you did. 
and I dropped glue on my book just now. It says, I'm coming over, Kimber. It's really good. And you know, you can make some of that and put it up in your freezer for uh, for a while too. So you can have ready-made meals ready to go. And crock pots are wonderful. And I love to do stuff like that and make soups and everything. Oh, you're welcome, Bridget. You're welcome here anytime. And I'm glad you came back, honey. It's just wonderful. I'm used to cooking at home. I'd rather eat my own homemade food than fast food. Me too. Fast food's a treat sometimes. I went to Wendy's last week. And I had this new cheeseburger that they've came out with that has onion rings and jalapeno peppers on it. Ah. Uh, was so disappointed when I finished eating it because there wasn't any more. So I'll have to recreate that because I can't do that every day. It's a lifestyle by any means. But uh, if you cook in the crock pot, you can always get freezer bags and put it up in the freezer, you know. Oh, yes. I did. I got my shower fixed and I had to fight really hard because when I went in there to take a shower that night, the water never got hot. And then um, I had a discussion about it and we had to have the, the guy come back out the next day and take a guard, a safety guard that was behind the faucet had to take it off and now it works just fine. And I'm so, so much safer now and I'm not scared that I'm going to fall and break my head open every time I get in the bathtub anymore. Well, I was thinking about making homemade chicken pot pies and berry pie and chicken soup and chicken pie. And yes, I wish we lived closer. Yum. I would love to have a chicken pot pie. Homemade chicken noodle soup. Oh, I'm sorry. You won't be able to celebrate your birthday next Monday. Happy birthday in advance right now. Everybody tell Laura happy birthday. She's so nice and she always comes in my chat. And she's a friend of ours in this family here. She's been having a hard time for a long time. And uh, just make her feel loved on And I'm sure there's a lot of you here that... Or been going through a hard time for a long time. Happy birthday, Laura. I'm sorry you're not celebrating it next Monday. But we care. I mean, going out to a restaurant. Oh. Yeah, I don't get to celebrate my own birthday too much either. You know, but. Every day's a new day if I'm still alive. I guess that's the greatest gift of all. I made it, but I hope you have a happy birthday. And I won't ask you how old you are, girl. I'll just say congratulations for surviving it that long. And I wish you many, 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 many more. I wish Stoney was here. I needed Stoney approval. I've got M approval. <laughs> You'll be 25 again? I celebrate my 25th birthday every year. I celebrate the anniversary of it. I will be like, again, making my own soap, facial, body lotions, and homemade bread and pies. Yeah, you're talking right up my alley. I love shepherd's pie. Okay, so 
somebody needs to book us a flight or overnight me some of her cooking. I love to come and sit and make soap with you. Oh, I've been wanting an Instapot forever. You know, I want one of those air fryers someday. I've heard those are great. I don't know if that's the same thing or not. I don't know. Excuse me right here. You better, you better not have. I'm talking to inanimate objects, please. You better not have glued together scissors like it hears me and stuff. I want an Instapot too, but no room for it. Yeah, I've got a tiny kitchen too. Um, well, it's not tiny. I mean, I don't have much storage space. You guys saw my kitchen the other day for the first time. Fiesta can taste test the food. I have an Instapot. have only used it twice. I need someone to help me learn it. Everything I need to learn. You think that's an upgrade or something? <laughs> it figures. My mom used to say that I had caviar taste in a bologna purse pocketbook you know we could be standing there at the sales work wtf mike did i read that right book of the dead yes sir thank you for the super chat wow wow yes i'm making the book of the dead right now i'm just making the wrinkles for the back cover mike gosh it's been a long time since i've seen you but it's been a long time since i've been up live I make beans in my crock pot or up on the stove. Wow. Thank you, Mike. You were awesome. You just popped in and went, bam. You just blessed my heart. Oh, you're going to make your own hand sanitizer? I stocked up on that at the Dollar Tree before there was a crisis. And yes, you can make your own on hand sanitizer. Mike, that was so sweet of you. Thank you. Yes. I love pinto beans and um, fat back and cornbread and fried potatoes. Dry beans in 30s. Now, I got to ask why. Because I, I've got glue in my hands and I better not handle that mouse um, because I've been making a series of scary books, I've made, um, I made Hocus Pocus book, I made Harry Potter, I've made the Book of the Evil Dead, I've got some other books that I wanted to make, um, so I could put a line of them up on my Etsy shop, and, um, there's been a big demand for it, and I've never done it before. Oh, good. Thank her in advance, Hannah. Whew. And I've got glue in my hands, and I can't handle the mouse or anything yet. I've got to get my hands clean. I've got this. WTF, Mike. Um, Thank you for the super chat so much. I wish I could make a book of vampires. I will be making a book of vampires. I'm going to make a lot of different things. I've got a, the book from Charm to make. I've got a long list of different books. She's awake and I told her you were live a minute ago. She said, is she working on her book? She knows me oh too well. Tell her I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm feeling hot tonight i'm having to sit in front of the fan it's just old age y'all fair enough you just don't see many crafters doing the book of the dead that's true and i don't see any women crafters doing the book of the dead but i wanted to make an entire line of spooky books to put up on my etsy shop and some other um 
paranormal things to go along with that because I've got a big following of the paranormal and that's also a um, Well, I don't want to open that discussion up. A vampire book would be cool. And I want to get the leather and start working, doing the leather work with it. Because right now I'm just using different things to make textures. Um, a vampire book would be cool. I should do a Twilight book, but I'm more of a 1980s, uh, the Lost Boys kind of girl, the real vampires. <laughs> yeah. But I also loved the classic horror books, um, the old classic comic books I grew up with back in the day, Tales of the Crypt and things like that. None of you guys know about that, I'm sure. But you had to open the freezer door and uh, stick your head in it just to cool off. Well, I turned the mouth upside down. Let me see if I can scroll up. Well. I'm going to have to scroll down. Bruce Haas, hello. Uh, WTF Mike, are you still here? Tales of the Crypt, yes. Interview with the Vampire Book. Well, see, I'm going to do a Book of Shadows, though, first. I'm going to do the book from the series Charmed. I've got some other things to do. I'm going to do the um, Alice in Wonderland, but it's going to be macabre. Well, wonderful, because I needed you to type again because I couldn't find you earlier because I intended on making you blue, my friend, because thank you so much for the super chat. I'm probably the only female that I'm aware of. Um that's making creepy things and in, in uh, at this time and the sad thing is as you guys don't know is i didn't start out doing that but i do have um intentions of making an entire line of this so there will be other orders To move that so I'd have a place to put it. Um, this is the cover of the book so far, Mike. And welcome, Joey. I'm excited to see you. Kimber, women's life shouldn't be so rough. No, it shouldn't. This is what the cover is going to look like. Um, WTF Mike when I'm finished and right now this is what I've made it before painting it especially with a name like Dreamwalking Angel you wouldn't think Necronomicon exactly but I do dream work uh, what they call dream work magic sometimes so <coughs> it's not that <coughs> I'm sorry I need to open a door or something. Oh, Bridget's got to go. Thank you for being here at all, Bridget. I so appreciate you. Have a good night now. Joy, I'm so happy that you came by. I'm just making wrinkles for the back of the book here. And then I'm going to use the hair dryer to dry it. Harry Potter was a long book to make, but it was awesome. If anybody knows Rebecca G. and Mel Godoy, they are the ones that bought the Harry Potter book. And the series is a playlist on my channel if you would like to go back and see the Harry Potter monster book of monsters that I made. Um, before that, I think it was the Harry Potter book. So this is my third or fourth book. 
that was one of your favorite movies. Which was one of your favorite movies, WTF Mike? I was confused. And it doesn't take much. And Bruce, thank you for being here. Hello, hello, hello. And thank you guys all for the thumbs up. I'm going to try to keep chatting. Mention everybody while I'm uh, doing this. Bye, Bridget. I hope you have a good, good night. Now you're talking, Alicia. I don't like the glitter vampires. I prefer the Nos for her uh, type of vampire. Uh, if I did a vampire book, it would be um, something like Vlad the Impaler. It would be Tales of the Crypt. It would be... Uh, something like Christopher Lee from the old movies. It would be... It would be really, really nasty, creepy. Hey, Vampire's Glitter. I, will, I am going to make a... Um, vampire box a vampire hunting box and a ghost hunting box um i've got i'm going to do a pendulum board with my um i jumped out of my skin i'm going to do a pendulum board with my wood burning kit and hopefully i'll be getting a pendulum soon you have some really cool ideas nalisha i'm being pulled and called into this terry I've got a certain, you know, nah. Kimber, I'm so glad you're here. It was great talking to you. Now, I like glitters, but vampires won't sparkle. But I'm going to make one of those uh, vampire hunting boxes. One of those wooden boxes with all the tools and a ghost hunting box. These are things that I've been looking at that I see people sell online that are manufactured in China. But what if I put the herbs and spices in them and the, and the potions that I mix up? And everything you see me making, for the most part, it, you're seeing me figure it out as I go for the first time. It's one of a kind. I've never made it before. I do believe spirits are among us. I have a feeling Grandpa made it to heaven. Okay. Yeah. No glitter on my vampires for sure. Nope. I think China did this virus crap to us on purpose. Oh, I don't know. I don't have the virus, you guys. I've just been laying down a lot and I need to move. So you get anytime you lay down a lot, you have to move. You have to roll over. If you don't, uh, your lungs will fill up with fluid and that's what causes pneumonia when you're in the hospital that's another reason why they come in and they make you move after surgery oh em stop it <laughs> she hears me coughing she yells corona well i'm over here you're over there Ugh. the only thing she could catch from me is a computer virus <laughs> My, 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 Corona. I think you need to get some air and get a drink, hun. I've got water right here and I've got the fan blowing on me. <coughs> um, <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I misunderstand all the time, Kimber. Just don't drink the Kool-Aid either. <laughs> I'm reading the chat. <clears throat> yeah. My goodness. T 
Do you guys remember the song called My Sharona from the 70s? Plus the air is drier now, so it makes us cough. I have a lot of acid reflux, you guys. And I'm coughing and I'm drowning over here. <clears throat> it's just the way it is. I took the liberty of sending you a PayPal donation. Oh my gosh. WTF Mike, you're blessing me tonight. Thank you. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Kimber wants to go roller skate now. Oh my gosh, not at my age. I'd end up with a hip replacement and a senior citizen home. <clears throat> Some little old man chasing me, me having to knock him away with a cane. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you so much. Wow, what a sweetheart. Thanks. Now I got the song stuck in my head. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's go, Kimber. Let's go. I've been dying to get an old style vampire's hunting kit. The one that I make is going to look like an old style something. A uh, 150, 200 years old. By the time I'm done, it's going to look antique, Terry. I already know the things that I want to put in it. And I've been planning it in my head for a long time. Oh, my goodness. Hold on for just a second. I'm checking my phone. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Mike. Thank you so much. You don't know how much I needed it, how much I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Can you imagine the roller skating with my entire lower spine fused? Please have an ambulance on standby, right? And a psychiatrist to ask you, why did you make such poor decisions at this age in your life? <laughs> it's like right now, my knee surgery and severe back pain, roller skating is out of the picture true <clears throat> wheelchair races sounds fun i'm always going to have a wild side no matter how old i get even if i am dream walking angel um and i'm a good girl no matter what you've heard the truth is it's still like a little bit of fun every now and then because you're stubborn well welcome to my tribe kimber Bruce, hope you feel better, Laura. I hope she gets better, too. i um, going to pour some of this water in here. <clears throat> my gosh. I'm just dribbling down my chin like I had a hole in it. Kimber, my neck is fused. So, yeah, I know sometimes what you mean. They want me to do my lower back and I won't let them. Oh, my gosh, people. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Well, God dang, all you ladies get together. We could make a whole few skeleton. That's true. Listen to them. The ankle bones connect to the... <laughs> the foot bones connect to the ankle bone. The ankle bones connected to the shin bone. Now, 
Now, I'm pretty jacked up myself, guys, when it comes to back. Then we can study everybody's body for when I take my exam, right? Hachi, good morning. I don't know why you're awake, but I'm glad either, but I'm glad you came to my stream. I'm so glad to have you back. Thank you for visiting me. You're such a good, faithful supporter. Tony, what was that incantation just now I heard when you were stirring the glue? <laughs> ah, there's a little bit of Shakespeare, Tony. Welcome. It was from Macbeth. <laughs> Every now and then. <laughs> Do you want to hear a, a very macabre joke? If I can tell it right. Dark humor. Does anybody like dark humor? Because it's not going to be politically correct. It's dark humor. I may ought to think twice about it. <clears throat> Thank you, Hachi. You're always welcome. Oh. Um, the police were going door to door. And uh, they knocked on... Jeffrey Dahmer's door and they said no more handshakes and he went to the kitchen and stopped the blender immediately. <laughs> They're like, okay. I'm sitting here giggling. <laughs> what is wrong with me? That is so bad. Oh, jeez. That wasn't bad at all. You could have told it better. <sighs> Terry, the furniture has jumped out at me, too. I've broke every single toe that I've had more than once. You needed that? Are you okay, Tony? That was a dad joke of dark humor. Yes, it was. I love Mike's jokes. I'm disappointed if you come in my room and you don't tell me a joke. You know that. I charge no interest, no admission fee ever for being in my chat. I'm not entertaining. I love to have you guys come back and see me. But I expect... So I expect Mike to come in with humor. I love his humor. I love the dad jokes. Oh, yeah. Terry, I thought about making a book of serial killers, too. But I thought that was a little bit too morbid. And it was disrespectful to the family who'd lost loved ones so I had second thoughts about it as well there is a limit oh Why did they stop the leprosy hockey tournament? There was a face-off in the corner. Oh, God. <laughs> yes.
It was very little, Terry. It was very little. Is that clay you're twisting? No, it's paper towel and glue and water. I'm so sorry too, Tony. I'm sorry about your sister-in-law. Has she been ill long? That's about as dad joke as I could remember. Well, I appreciate you sharing it. I really do. I've seen you in many, many, many streams, WTF Mike. And uh, you go in there and you tell jokes and they're not really caught or anything, but I'm real corny and I've got a weird sense of humor. And so... I don't know why I stopped talking to you guys. I'm so happy. I'm so happy you guys are here. I'm so happy for each and every one of them. <laughs> it's just so cool to have you guys around. And thank you for listening to me ramble on while I'm figuring out where to put these things. Michael Gwynn. Hello, sir. How are you? 43 years, and it's true tomorrow. It's never promised. She was in a head-on collision Monday and passed Sunday. I did not know until just now, Tony. I am so sorry I didn't give my condolences earlier to you and the family. Goodness gracious, that gives me chills. I'm so very sorry, Tony. You just never know. You just never know. One day they're here and the next day, you know, we could be gone. Dream, I'm doing fine. Well, I'm, I'm much better than I was um, and I'll just leave it at there. I'm so glad you came by, Michael. Oh, gee, that's terrible, Tony. That is, it's terrible. I used to do paper mache using the flour paste. Bad idea. It gets buggy over time. Ugh. You always put a smile on ours, Alicia. We love you, woman. Well, I love you too, Terry, uh, Tony, and Terry. I adore him. And I and Al is a special guy too. He really, really is. Then my prayers and my heart goes out to Tony right now. I didn't know it till just now, Tony. That just fell for no reason. Maybe I'm shaking my desk and didn't know. It's been four weeks since grandpa's passing. It does get it. It's really tough. It really is. I'm glad to see you here, Michael. That is so very sad. And if she had children, I'm sure they're grieving as well. I'm sorry for all of you. Really am. He ran out of toilet paper. There's a ghost wanting the paper towels. He ran out of toilet paper. Ha! Huh. 
Well, tell him I said he's SOL. <laughs> Baby wipes. Dream, I too. It's been a little crazy in Rome, Georgia, my friend. It absolutely has. And the other week when they sent me to the hospital, they almost sent me to Rome. And that was the day that someone was admitted to the hospital there in Rome with this virus. But also, they were, they were doing a stress test on my heart. And I have hypertension anyway. And I wasn't taking enough oxygen and my heart was acting stupid and you're using your new camera, right? Yes, I am, Joey. And I was live the other day and I did an unboxing of it. And I hope you guys will come and see me on D Live. And WTF Mike, thank you so much for the PayPal donation. You did not have to do that. You're just entertaining and friendly enough all by yourself being here. And I'm happy to have each and every one of you. And that's the truth. Thank you, though. But, yeah, I was in what I was going to say about the hospital there in Rome, Georgia. He's 30 minutes away, if you guys don't know. We've never met but he's, I consider him a neighbor. If we have tornadoes or anything like that, and I see him in the chat, I always look after him and see how he's doing it. You know, um, does I care, we care about our neighbors down here in Georgia. We sure do, whether we've met them or not. And that's the thing about being from the South. We're all friendly. We're very welcoming to everybody. And uh, we expect to be treated the same. Uh, you know, because people are people. We all have feelings, right? And anyway, uh, what I was going to say was that day that I had to go to the doctor and um, she sent me straight from the doctor's office to the emergency room because I was having trouble. She said I could either go to Rome because it's closer to my house or I could go to Cartersville Medical, which was right next door to the doctor's office that I was at. It was the same day they had um, an admission, also the coronavirus. And that didn't come out in the news until after I had left, that I had been around the staff and around said mystery patient. So... It's crazy here in West Virginia, and we're the only state left with no confirmed cases of the virus. That's, uh, I don't have it, but I'm staying away from people, too. They tested me that day. They said, I'm going to test you for the flu, you know, and at that time, I hadn't heard about any cases of it here in Georgia. They took a wooden skewer at least that long and it was like it had a q-tip on the end of it or cotton swab they stuck that thing so far up in my nose that my eyes watered i swore that they touched my eye so i was in the hospital that day and i messaged emmy and and i didn't know at the time but she was doing a d live and um 
I was going to message other people, but as soon as I got that one message out, um, then they started coming in and putting IVs in my arm, and they started putting the the leads for the heart monitor on my chest, and turning out the lights, and want me to be quiet and rest, and all of that stuff. And it was kind of scary being up there by myself alone, but I made it. I did not die, obviously. You can set your D-Live up so that it comes through on YouTube as well. I see everybody doing that, Terry, and I don't really know how to do it. And I've got my girls here that are my friends. They're going to help me through. I'm going to finish this book. And uh, after that, I can bring my, my other things that I want to do over on D Live. And I want to start getting down with the music again. The music left my life a while back. And that's sad. That's sad because I was all about the singing and all about the music. And uh it's just it's just a shame. But life is life, you know. Yep, I am. My chat must be very, very slow because I'm not understanding. Over 50 people are infected in Michigan. Dream, I'm glad you're okay, my friend. I'm glad you're okay too, Michael. But they tested me right there and then on site. I wasn't displaying any symptoms then and as far as I know, I'm not now except old age, you know. But um, Oh, going to help you stream in both platforms. Yes. One of the smartest technical, one of the smartest women I know in the technical field is Emma's Jim. And she's going to take me over there to D-Live. I'm going to play these music. I've got an awesome playlist called Kiss My Ass Playlist. And we're going to play some jamming music. You will, you will see. I hope your dad I hope your dad's doing okay, Michael. It wasn't long ago where Michael Gwynn's dad wasn't well either. We had our first confirmed positive cases in our town yesterday. Our town's got several confirmed cases, people hospitalized. They shut down the schools and the churches. Um, I'm waiting for them to shut down the post office, but they don't. They shut down the library. Uh, a lot of restaurants are closing. Walmarts across the country are going to stop doing their 24-hour thing. I wash my hands all the time. Dream, they are closed. Rome, Georgia down. I haven't been to Rome in over a month that I haven't felt good. My taste in music is pretty unpalatable for most people. My taste in music is everything from classic to um, independent to old school rock and roll to uh, classic country. I love everything. Pretty much. Um, I don't like it dark. Surprisingly enough. I don't like the music. Really screaming at me. And dark. Because I don't want anybody yelling at me. I've never been in the mood. To listen to that kind of angry music. But. Everybody's got their own taste. You know. It makes me think. Just wash your hands. It makes me think something else is going on. Well, I don't really have any idea what's going on. I can do some rap. It depends on how well written it is. 
and it can be like one fun song for driving faster down the road. Yep, they've closed the same thing here in our Walmarts. All three that were 24 hours are now only open from 6 to 11, and the schools are closed. Same here. And um, in some places, they have the National Guards on the street in some places. But you guys, um, it's going to be okay. It really, really is. Black Metal, Burzum, Mayhem. Gorgoroth, Wontang. Those are all new words to me, Hachi. But I'm just open to about everything. I'll try anything once. At least, and twice if I like it. I <laughs> uh, hope I'm not missing anything. I used to DJ in clubs, so I like dance music with a beat. You do. I bet you like rave music, Terry. In techno? Anything with a remix, techno beat behind it? I have never seen anything like this, not even on 9-11. Well, I know I'm talking and talking about it, and I really shouldn't be. But I saw something on um, Instagram that was very interesting. And you guys don't get into listening to the hype or the fear mongering really at all. But are, if you're not familiar with Marfugel News, I love watching that guy. It's not for the faint of heart, but he tells the truth about how it is. Dream, they told everyone to stay home. Yes, I've heard it here as well in Cartersville. I've heard it here too. And I'm staying home with all of my craft supplies. And hopefully I'll make enough to make enough content. It, yeah. But back to what we were saying, though. Um, Emmy is going to help me get over on DLive. So as soon as I get done with this book here, I'm going to dry it out and paint it. And who is that guy again? I don't know. Hotels are shutting down. If you had vacation plans, it's over now. That's true. I've seen people that were planning on going on cruises, and their cruises have been canceled. And flights have been canceled. Today's the first day I went out. I'm not afraid to go out. I don't go out often anyway. Just because... I have a lot of anxiety about people um, and I have some physical problems. Aw, I live in a small town in South Carolina and it's like a ghost town. I bet it is, Bruce. This is turning into the Stephen King novel called The Stand. Terry, have you ever read The Stand? Now, everybody's familiar with the movies, but I was a reader back in the day. Do you guys know that you can get free books to read online from your library? If you have a library card, you, you can read them online. You don't have to go and physically check out the book. I'm Cosby, Tennessee. Oh, I love me some Tennessee. I used to play techno, but it got old fast and now... 
like it just works my nerves. I, yes. <laughs> My chat on my end is very slow, so I don't know how it is for responding to you guys, but um, I'm just putting layers. Bruce has read the stand. Awesome. And you're a total shut-in, Hachi. That's really bad. You were raised in Tennessee. Oh, gosh. Nice. I'd love to hear you talk. Well, I was raised, I don't know if you were Middle Tennessee, West Tennessee, or East Tennessee. But I come from the southeastern area of Kentucky. That's where I went to school as a little girl. Techno, one's cut, VNV nation, raised in black. I used to be a club kid back in the day. I'm a shut-in also. Just go out to film content or doctor's appointment. That's about what my life's going to be like, too. Um, you know, my, my disabilities are getting to where I just can't do these things anymore. They is what Rome, Georgia is going to look like. A ghost town. Judy. Hi, 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 Judy. Welcome, my dear. I'm so glad to see you. It's been so long since I've uh, live streamed that you were born in Oneida, Tennessee and moved to Germany when you were young and lost your accent somewhere along the way. That happens. That really happens. And I've lived all over the country for a little bit at a time. But I always end up coming back home to the south where I was born and raised because, oh no. I was trying to make her a moderator and my chat's going so slow. It says this user's message will be hidden. No. No. Hachi, hold on for a second. I didn't mean to hide it. I was trying to moderate Judy. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get you back. She didn't say anything wrong. But my... Oh, no, my chat's moving the wrong way. Hold on for a second. I'm trying to fix it. I'm so sorry. Hold on for a second. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to fix it, darling. I, I apologize. My chat was not moving correctly. I and mean, it's still kind of stuck. I'm going to try to refresh. Would everybody hold on? Maybe if I refresh, it'll go faster. But it's just staggering. Whatever I'm doing, it's going way too slow and it's staggering. Plot twist your guy. I'm sorry. All that glue on your fingers, right? Oh, for heaven's sake.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. Good. It was just, I've done that before. I did that to M as a gym. Ask her. Thank you for being cool about it. Thank you for being so cool. I'm going to get my hair dryer and get this to dry after I put another layer of. Uh, this is really skin, you guys. So thank you for thinking it's beautiful because it's. At the end of the day, it's skin. Now, I think all skin is beautiful. All colors of it. So, All the colors of the rainbow. You one hit her. Thank you. I'm trying to get my chat popped out again. But my computer's going so slow at the moment. So bear with me. I'm telling you, it's like my screen is froze. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. Wow, I've got 29 thumbs up so far. If I can get it to scroll to the top. Cool. That makes me happy. I can't get it to scroll to the top. There we went. Okay. Yeah, it's still slow. Here we go. Pop out chat time. Okay. Minimize this window. Yes. The first night she came over, I was trying to moderate her and it hit. The, I did the same thing. It hit blocker. Since I was born in South Carolina, grew up in Maryland, now living in West Virginia. I do love the mountain heritage very, very much. And the history, Terry. I sure do. There's a lot to be said about it. <clears throat> and there's a lot that's not talked about. But those stories were passed down to me through my grandmother and my great grandmother and I've got some history on both sides because I ask all the questions I was the nosy one as a kid I wanted them to tell me my dad was a uh, your page is unresponsive wait for them to okay I don't know why it's unresponsive am I still live This is drying pretty fast. And I've got the hair dryer here. Let me stop for a second. My, my back and my, my shoulder blades and my neck and my shoulders, they all hurt so bad. Okay, cool. I'm glad. I'm so glad. So this is kind of like skin that I'm doing on the back of it here and uh, it looks like these pinners are falling off the stony called them pinners they look like little wet noodles to me uh, I'm trying to find the box of aluminum foil I had so I could uh Okay, great. That's better. That's better. It took me a while to get the stream back again. Let me see if I can get it on live chat, not top chat. We might get a lot better. Good. 
Finally. Finally, finally. May I ask what you guys are doing up so late? You're watching me. Thank you. That was a silly question, wasn't it, Gamber? You're watching me. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's early here compared to you. Yeah, it's about two in the morning here. I have been in bed about all day. I have been not feeling well at all. And uh, just one of those things. I'm watching you and Annabelle. Oh, cool. I don't know why I'm up. Something startled me in my sleep and scared the crap out of me. I'm just not tired anymore. My husband works late. He just got home. I want to say I am delighted to have all of you here. It just, it's wonderful to have your company. Thank you for not letting me be alone and feel alone. You guys are wonderful. Joey, Joey. Oh, oh my goodness. That surprised me. So I stay up till he gets home. Well, I totally understand. That way you guys can go to bed together and sleep. And, you know, it's just wonderful. But sometimes when they work second shift like this, they don't want to go to bed right away. I know I didn't want to go to bed as soon as I got home from work. I stayed up a while. I worked all kinds of shifts when I worked in the hospital. That's awesome, Joy. Thank you for finding that. And you're just chilling out in your bedroom, Michael. Thank you for hanging out with me. I cannot say it enough. It makes me so happy. I probably shouldn't be drinking Red Bull at 2 a.m. Well, you're a full-grown person. And uh, if you're old enough to buy that Red Bull, you're old enough to suffer the consequences, I reckon. <laughs> I was totally shocked when you did that. It's only 11 p.m. in Vegas. That's the girl I was trying to moderate, Miss Judy. When I hid Hachi. Good grief. My computer's slow. And when I got the dots popped up to do it, then somebody typed in the chat the same time I clicked. And I, it just did whatever it did. Good morning, Higher Truth. Hi. Yeah, you're all about surprises. Yes, I love to do surprises for other people. I'm just... Hachi is a guy. I know that. And she, Hachi told me a minute ago. And I, I, will, I will remember that. Because I don't want to be offensive and call somebody a girl that's a guy. I didn't know. Or vice versa. I don't want to be called sir. I'm a girl. So. Welcome everybody. Thank you for being here. I keep saying that because. I'm concentrating on what I'm doing and I didn't want to talk about that worldwide sickness that's going on that reminds me of the book called The Stand by Stephen King. I know it's full of awful stuff, but I'll live, I hope. You better live. We don't want to be having to talk to you through our spirit boxes now. Good morning, higher truth. So glad you did stop in. So glad you did. 
So higher truth was in chat this afternoon. It was truly helpful when I became emotional. Oh, I missed it. Not that I'm happy that you were emotional, but oh my God, I wasn't there for you. I was sick and asleep. Thank you, Haya. God love your heart. Thank you, Haya Truth. You're such an awesome person. Good, good person there. Dream, I have to go now, and I'll see you later. And God bless you and your family, and please have a great night, great day tomorrow, my friend. The same to you, and stay well and safe, Michael Gwen. Em, you're welcome. I'm always here for you, hon. Good night, everyone, he says, and God bless y'all, and have a great night great day tomorrow much less sis i'm so glad you did i am so glad you were there for her higher truth bless you thank you for that yes judy pinnell just our spirit box session took a turn and the spirits were calling on me oh my gosh I cannot even at this moment. I can't. I cannot even that I wasn't there. I was sick. I was off the computer. I was off the internet and everything. I had a bad day and I wasn't there for her. I hate that. But I'm glad someone was there for her. Alicia, you're welcome. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. It's okay. My tribe was there with me. Okay. Well, that's good, honey. I'm so glad you got what you needed when you needed it. They, We all love you to pieces, Em. Oh, boy. Do tell. Tamara's got a new bow. I've been kept out of the loop. Tamara. I did not know that. Yeah, I had a real hard day today. Sounds like you had a hard day in a different way. They met in my live chat last night. Oh, it's so exciting. Love is in the air. You guys are amazing. Nelisha, yes, his name is Blake. Blake Shelton? <laughs> I don't know anybody named Blake, so this must be Tamara. I'm so happy for you. Oh, shucks. I was going to have you get him in here so we could ask him 2,000 questions. Oh, Lord. If that ever happens to me, y'all, I ain't saying nothing. I know how you ladies are. 
Oh my gosh. Well, I'm so tickled. I'm so glad for you, Tamara. I already did that last night live on the panel. I've been missing something, apparently. Look. Alicia, Mom M. Dunn got a hold of him. Oh, boy. Well... She did a great job. I trust her. She's a mom of boys. She knows what to ask. I have a boy, but I've got more experience with girls since I had three girls. Oh, no, and I wasn't there. That's the same thing I'm feeling, Joy. I've been missing out on everything. I got my daughters, and that's more than enough. Oh, yeah. Yep. Girls are complicated. Well, I've taken a break from some of the live streams. Was ta taking up too much time and it was affecting my health. Gosh, don't I know. And I'm so glad I get to talk to some of you offline as well. It really helps keep my spirits up during troubling times. You missed it, Joy Sumter. I gave him the third degree, asked Judy. Well, I missed it too, and you and I sat there and talked yesterday. Um, it must have been after we did the spirit box then, Emmy. Or before. You and I, Michelle, were talking. Good night, Haya. Thank you so much, sweet lady, for being there um, and coming by to see me. It's lovely to have you each and every time you stop by. I am just so excited to see you and all of you. I just can't believe I've got like 17 people watching me make the Book of the Evil Dead in the middle of the night. Which is how it should be made. It's the book of the evil dead. And it should be made in the middle of the night. <laughs> I'm being silly. Don't take me serious. Hi Sherry. It's not the dead people. 
that I worry about. It's those that's living and walking among us that gives me the most problems. I was scared that Dad J. Matt was going to give him the talk. Aha! See, I'm sad that I got left out and missed everything. Thank you for dropping my links, Joy. <gasps> Kelsey. Hey, Alicia. I can't stay tonight. I have to be up in like three hours. I just wanted to come and show you some love. Tell you I think of you so often and I love you tons. I'm doing the same thing, Kelsey. I think of you all the time. I love you and I miss you and I hope you're doing okay. And I wish I could just hug you and let you cry and cry it out with you. And darling, I don't thank you for stopping by. I haven't felt well in a long time, and I'm sleeping when you're live. It's so wonderful to see you. I love you to pieces, Kelsey. Oh gosh. Kelsey's my friend, you guys, and she's been my friend for a long time. I've been missing her. And I've been thinking of her, and I've been missing her a lot. And bless you, Kelsey. You're a doll, baby. Oh, my God. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're not sick. I hope your mom and your brothers are okay. Eagle Eye, thank you for stopping by. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. What high caliber people I've got in here tonight. All of you guys have just rocked my world tonight by showing up. I love you so much, girl. You mean the world to me. I'm doing okay. I've just been trying to get through everything. I know, honey. I don't know how you do it except the grace of God. I love you and I miss you. And I sent you messages by one other lady. And I know you got them. And... I've sent you my love. I love her. She's gone through so much since she lost her daddy. She's still going through it. If you guys pray or send out positive vibes and good intentions, please lift up and send her some positive energy. She really, really needs it at this point in her life. She so seriously needs an extra boost of help. She needs stuff to go her way and a lot easier. Oh my God. I didn't know I was going to cry like that, but I love her and I haven't been able to be there when she's live. Every time she's live, I'm somewhere else asleep, sick, recovering. She means a hell of a lot to me, you guys. Bless her heart. It has been tough, but I did get the messages. I appreciate all of it. So sorry I haven't been MIA, but I've been dealing. I understand why you were MIA. You've had my heart and soul the whole time, honey. 
nothing's changed. We're still friends. And you've got my prayers even when you haven't asked for them. I'm still hanging in here strong on your side for you, with you. Wishing that there's something I could do to make it easier. Oh my gosh. You're such a blessing. I want to be a blessing to you too. A woman, you just take the time you need to get adjusted to a new way of life. Oh my God. That's true, Hachi. I've been through a hell of a lot. I should be jaded myself, but I'm not. I can't help it. And I'm not wanting to help it. But I give a damn about her. She's been through a lot. I wish we could all give each other just the prayers is all I ask. I believe in the power of prayer. Same here, Kelsey. I've had too many answers to be talked out of it. But I hope you can feel my love and my good intentions. And my prayers sent towards you. If I had a million dollars, I'd share it with you. Why is it the ones who's broke is a joke that uh, are the ones who would give it away? <laughs> I miss my daddy every second of every single day. There isn't a day I don't think of him and my heart don't break. Oh, Hannah, I know. It's been so early. It's still early yet for you as well if you guys want to put up virtual hugs and prayer emojis in the chat to let kelsey know she's loved i would really appreciate that she could use some love and some light and some encouragement she could use the burdens lifted up off of her shoulders she's been carrying a heavy load Hannah, I know exactly what that feels like, too. Well, if you guys will put up praying hands and hugs and let Kelsey know how much her heart and her situation matters to all of us, I really appreciate it. Kelsey, feel the love, please. Even if you don't pray, send out the love and the light. There's nothing wrong with sending good intentions and up for her. It's really a wonderful thing to do to send the love. Alicia has to be the sweetest person on you. Oh, my God. I just lost my job today and it was one of our main sources of income. <gasps> Hannah, I'm going to do um, a prayer. If you reach out to me for love and luck and success, get your mom to get hold of me. So I'll send you a little bag to carry you around. It's got some stuff in it. When I get some gems, I can include those things and send them to you. But I can make you a little bag with some stuff in it for some success, for some money, for love, for success, love, money. Um, I keep saying that. But you know what I mean, Hannah. I would love to send you and your mom a little gift of something so things would turn around and that cycle of... Um, one thing after another would break over your life. But I'll mix up something and I'll make a little bag and you can put it, you can tie it in your clothing or you can put it in your purse if you carry one or you can put it in your car. And just reach out. Elm is a gem and Eagle Eye and uh, Rebecca. And all of us are here to help you. We're one family. I hope things turn around for you, Hannah. 
and your whole family because this cycle of one thing after another happened to you has to stop. We're going to pray and we're going to break it. I'm going to send you some stuff. And we're all here. We'll, we love you guys so much. You're a big part of our community. I have a feeling I shouldn't have ordered a car a month ago. Everyone's jobs are in jeopardy now. I'm so sorry it happened to you like that, Hannah. <sighs> Hugs and comforting prayers going out to all having a rough time. Thank you, Terry. You're one of the kindest hearted gentlemen I know. You've been steady as a rock since I first met you. Steady as a rock, patient, patient teacher. He always answers my questions because I I have a childlike curiosity about things and he does not get irritated when I ask what most people would see as the most simple question because I do not ask to be aggravating I ask to know and to learn and to grow in this path that I'm walking on and I believe that people are brought into your life for a certain reason they're either a lesson or a blessing and uh, Terry sure tries to teach me whenever I come in his chat if I have a question. And he always says to ask. And I'm always that girl that goes, I want to know this or that. I love you, Nalisha. I will try to get back to YouTube. I've been kind of quiet just because I haven't exactly ready to come on back. And that's a good thing. You know when you're ready to come back. You take your time. There's no pressure, Kelsey. There isn't everybody that loves you, understands. Um, but we miss you as an individual, as a person. But we definitely get it. The virus has a lot of people on edge and worrying. It's, it's, um, yeah, a higher paying job around the corner for Hannah. How many people... Can, will agree with me. A higher paying job for Hannah right around the corner. Pays more than the one she left. I'm going to put that paintbrush right there for a minute. It, Terry is very patient with me. I would love for him to be one of my teachers, but I don't want to impose or obligate on his time either. But I'm just such a curious person, and I always ask to know so I can further my uh, journey and my path. You know, with more information. Because we all have knowledge that the other person doesn't. And so we share. And um, I'm going to ask you guys if you're wearing headphones. Uh, maybe to take it out. Or I can just mute this for a minute. I'm going to dry, uh, dry this off. And you guys are talking in the chat. I'll be reading the chat. And it'll take me just a second. I'm going to dry the glue right here.
below the TR show. I'm drying my book. It's still very wet right now. But welcome, Kenneth the Kentucky fam. Hello. Oh, it's so nice to see you, sir. How are you? The TR show. Thank you for visiting me. My 16 year old car has been pondering, jumping in the dining room chair. Your cat, not your car. For a good five minutes. She's so old, but so cute. She doesn't know she's old. She still wonder. I bet she's looking at that. She remembered her age, didn't she, Kimber? Hi, Kenneth, and welcome. I'm trying to get this stuff to dry. Um, it's still very hashtag moist. He said, hello, Jim. Um, is Gemma here? I don't see Gemma. Ew, moist. Hashtag moist. That's true. <laughs> it's a terrible word, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to readjust. I'm becoming quite uncomfortable. Hold on for a second. Okay. This edge of the book here is what I'm looking at. It's trying to get it. I'm not in the camera. Okay. The edge of the book here, I want to get it covered a little bit where it goes on the inside, but I'm going to have a piece of paper cover that. Eh, it ain't that bad. Depends on the context. True. No, hello to me. Okay, bless your cat's little heart. I knew the hashtag moist was getting started. Oh my gosh. Diary of her mind. Just popping in to say hello. I'm on three hours of sleep. Been up since 4 a.m. Much, much love. Oh, my goodness, Christine, thank you for showing up and being here. It's been so long. I've missed you. I've missed you to pieces. I have missed you so much, girl. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, my gosh. I feel so loved. Look at all the sweet people stopping in just to say hello. I haven't heard from in a long, long time because I haven't been live. I'd probably hear from you more if I would be live, right? Um, yeah, that was so tragic about your little dog too, Judy. I won't ever forget that. Well, thank you, Bruce. I'm not sure if you guys can see what I'm doing. But I'm working on getting this edge covered. And 
then this will be covered with another sheet of paper. I'm so sorry. I'm glad that we went on that journey with you, Joy, when you lost your dog, that you weren't alone. Bruce, that was a very sweet thing to say. Thank you. I don't get told that often, so I don't usually deal with compliments well, but thank you for being kind enough to say that. That was a very nice thing to say. How are you going to make it into a box? I'm going to um, I'm going to turn it around first of all so you can show you. I've got the measurements that I need, and I'm going to cut a rectangle out on the inside of it. But first, I'm going to open up a certain amount of pages, and uh, I'm going to cut a rectangle out through some of the depth on the top, but the rest of it... I'm going to cut it out, but that's after after it dries because I'm going to want it to be straight up one last time. Love you, Nalisha. Oh, I love you too. Good night. I love that emoji. Isn't that awesome? Is that a vampire bat? Kelsey, that's pretty cool. But I'm going to glue it together first, Lisa, and then when it's all solid, very, very solid, I've got a template, well, I'm going to make one, where I cut it out, and it'll be, and take out the pages out of the hole, and then I'm going to glue the inside so it stays very solid, and then after it's glued, this top part will shut, like, on top of it as well, and it's going to have a hole in it part of the way up, but it'll open and close, and this will be stuck to it as well um i'm going to paint the book of course and make it look realistic like skin the way that i did on the hocus pocus book and um i'm so sorry sorry you're going through it too mine just turned eight and died from cancer he's in a better place but dang i love him like he was my child it's a vampire bat yes it was that was cool that was very cool um Nalisha, it's 2.38. I'm going to go to bed. I love you and have a wonderful night. Eagle Eye, I hope you get some good night's sleep and you have a wonderful live stream tomorrow. Get some good rest. Thank you for coming to visit me, Eagle Eye. It means the world. It means a whole lot to have family and support like I've got in this crowd. I know what you mean, Kimber. My one-year-old pit bull got sick and died in my arms. One year old? Oh, bless your heart. I lost my, my fur baby. He was nine years old. He was my protector. He was my guardian. And uh, I don't have another pit. I've never had another thing since. Um, I have full-blooded Siberian Husky, and he looked like a timber wolf. He was those colors, and he had blue eyes. And they used to say that some pet owners look like their dogs, and I didn't pay any attention to it. But once I'd take him out for walks, they'd say, you look like your dog. <laughs> I didn't have to take him out for walks much because I've got a fenced in backyard and he'd just go to my back door in my kitchen and whine and whimper that he wanted to get out. And then he'd come to the back door and scratch to get back in because he was the big old baby. He was a lap dog and a house dog. And so he was a big old baby and I miss him and I, I have his ashes.
Thank you, Joy. Good night, Kelsey's. I love you, Kelsey. I just got my new tablet from Walmart, my first one ever had. You're going to love it, Kenneth. Congratulations. I'm so glad you got something good for yourself. Good for you. I hope you enjoy it and have many good times. Maybe you can live stream with it. It's a 10, it's, it's 10 inches. Those are nice size one. I had one like that a long time ago. Mine burned up. Well, that's so nice. Congratulations, Kenneth. I hope you have fun with it. I'm looking for something. I've got such a mess in here at this point. I can barely function. I gotta do something about my crazy laugh right now. Hmm. Mom. I have no idea where I placed that box of pool. Well, I'm looking for maybe. Um, maybe this plastic if I put it down will be alright I can cover it because I'm trying to get the edges of the book covered so when I paint it and stuff I'm not going to have the red edge of the book to deal with so that's what I'm doing I'm going around the book I'm hoping that it will dry and I'm going to glue the book and Let's see what I missed that Terry said. I've got glue all over myself. It's hard to work like that. It really is. Yes. Okay, now I know what I'm trying to do here. You guys can't see it much at all. But the edge of this book here, I'm trying to cover it with some more paper towels. So it will go on the inside down this way. And that's all I'm trying to do. That's all.
just putting a little bit like that on the cut on the corner and just dipping some paper towel over it so I can wrap it around it. Shoot, shoot, we still can't see it. I'll be right back. I need to run to the store. I forget how different of a time schedule we're on until she says something like that. I go, oh gosh, okay. Be safe, him. You get the chance. You should watch Army of Darkness. I've heard about it. I have heard about it, Bruce. I don't want to watch something like that alone. Maybe I can watch it on D Live. I don't know. Got to buy some toilet paper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a good question, though. Oh, that's good to know. I hadn't heard that part. I did not know. Thank you. Is it on a streaming service at the time? Or do you have to rent it? Or can you buy it online? Where can I check it out? You guys are going to make... Good little nerd out of me. Thank you. Have you ever worked with gold leaf? I've got a book of gold leaf and I can't decide what to do it. I have worked with gold leaf. And I have the sizing and the gold leaf ready to use it on the, the supernatural book from Charmed. I think I'm going to use it on that. And the the book of the mummy from the movie, The Mummy. The one that's got the lock on the front. I've been looking at that as well. Gold leaf is very messy, but it's so worth it. It is so worth it. The results are gorgeous. Hi, Mystic Veteran. How are you? You just finished your essay for college. What was the theme? That's very stressful. But congratulations on finishing. That's no small task. Mid 20th century science fiction. Woo!
had to combine two different characters from two different stories into one and reflect the historical, cultural, and political climate is the theme. That would have been kind of fun. The pressure you're using reminded me of Gold Leaf. Is it hard to work with? Gold Leaf is hard to work with, and it's a skill set. This is a, a one-inch brush by Royal and Langnickel. I can't talk suddenly. Royal and Langnickel. And it's a one inch wide brush and it would be perfect for that actually because it's a soft brush my other cat has zombies she's going nuts she's 15. oh won't be watching the new batman movie then zombies zoomies not zombies okay <laughs> I was like, your cat has zombies, okay. Did you notice how accepting I am and I don't question anything? <laughs> and I go, okay, okay. <laughs> Her cat has zombies. You're in your junior year of college. I loved writing. And I loved my classes in writing. Oh, what two authors did you use? I think I'm remembering Carl Sandberg. I'm trying to remember. You guys have got to help me. My memory is shot. I read a lot of Alfred Hitchcock and some science fiction and um, Sir Arthur Henry. Sir Arthur Henry Conan Doyle. You're waiting for a zombie apocalypse to happen? Seriously? I should be making my zombie items right now. I've got little zombie dolls I'm planning on making to sell as merch. I'm... It was a funny autocorrect, Kimber. So I am I, Bruce, but not with my cats. <laughs> Your cat's got the zoomies. Well, they're nocturnal. They go crazy in the middle of the night. They go crazy. I think I go crazy. Crazy, crazy for you. You guys have just made my night watching me watching glue dry. Slap a football helmet on the zombie and you can keep it as a pet. <laughs> For the authors, Isaac Asimov and Judith Merrill. Good choices. I remember Isaac Asimov. As soon as she said it, I'm like, yes. That was my junior high reading. I have to admit the thought had crossed my mind. <laughs> You guys are awesome tonight, especially. A lot of Isaac's work was later made it into movies like Space Odyssey. Yes. When I was in junior high or middle school, I was reading Stephen King. So that may explain a lot. The hardest thing I had to do for college was to create a new language with grammar rules and explanations. That would be awful. In another way, 
it would be kind of cha a fun challenge because um, you could just do that backwards. You could write down a secret code and then explain it. Uh, it would be hard. It would be fun. It would be such a challenge. I wanted to be an English teacher because I'm such a grammar nerd. And now I don't correct people in the chat, but I see atrocious things. Walmart would have the most bizarre zombies. They already do, Terry. They already do. <laughs> Especially when they expect you to create things in it. Yes, but that's like challenge. Challenge is on. In the event of zombies, I'm headed up north to Alaska. I reckon they'll just freeze and everything uh, is cool. Joyce, I'm to grab yourself a ton of Nalisha's merch. Oh, my goodness. Joy, you're such an awesome blessing. Thank you for um, dropping the links. I loved teaching. I've taught a lot, but not professionally. I have a lot of patience. I've taught people to read. I've taught um, my children. I did a lot of homeschool and I love creating stories. I hate analyzing ev everything, even though I'm a very analytical person. The irony, right? It's so hard. Uh, but then you'll have to watch out for vampires. <laughs> Yeah. You know, those underground concentration camps they have at the Walmarts all across the country, they say. I'm playing into a little bit of conspiracy theory, you guys. I keep getting asked if I have protection in my home like people are going to break into my apartment for toilet paper and craft macaroni and cheese. They're already trying to do that here. There's people trying to break into your homes now. They always were, probably, but there's people out now looking. You know, Kimber needs mac and cheese. We need to send her some mac and cheese for Amazon grocery delivery. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yes. Well, dang, that means y'all have to watch out for me. I'm the vamp. V A N P E. Vamp. I'm going to turn the, the hair dryer on again, people. And uh, I love those microwave Dollar Tree mac and cheese cups. I just like making a big old casserole dish out of it. I cut, get me a scoop in a cup and microwave it, warm it right back up. I love macaroni and cheese. Yeah, they're already out looting, and that's why they have the National Guard. And, well, they've got it here, and they've got a, a coronavirus camp at Hard Labor. Look that up on Google. It's on the news. You have two nine millimeters and a cat with sharp nails. It begs to differ. Mm, same.
I like to make homemade macaroni and cheese, and then I have plenty of leftovers. Good night, Tamara. True. Hachi's true. Thank you for coming by, Tamara. Diary, thank you for still being here. I haven't done it in many years, Misty, but I used to set up a target out in the backyard and practice knife throwing, and I was very good at it. That's a bad thing about carrying a knife. You have to wait till somebody gets right up on you to use it. So I was getting together some stuff. I'm decorating the Kleenex box and some soaps in the morning for the hospital for the office staff. That is so nice. Yeah, that's true, too, uh, Mystic. Well, like I said, you know, they have to get right up on you for you to use those. If you guys can afford to buy a small can of wasp spray and carry it, the small cans, carry it in your hand. That works better than mace. I dare them to get near me. Well, I'm pretty feisty for an older woman, but I don't think that I can outpower any man, especially if there's more than one of them. Terry, that's cool as hell. Good on you. I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> I've just got a thing about me that sends out bad karma. If you hurt me or touch me, it comes back on you. Emmy is still here. Nice. Bear mace. If it'll fend off a black bear, I think you'll be all right. Agreed. Welcome back, Emmy. My girl has to secretly carry her baton in her bag. It's a sad society when women have to watch everywhere they go. And men don't think about that. They just go. She can't have a knife unless it's small. Not on school campus. True. That'll get you expelled in a New York minute. He said, hi, Carol. Is she still here?
yeah, it's 2020 and we still have to walk with keys between our fingers. I think that's ridiculous. Well, I'm so glad you're still here, Carol. Thank you. This is the book that I'm making. It's called The Book of the Evil Dead. My husband used to carry a billy club in his truck, so he hid it. But to where he could easily grab it. Cool. Well, you grab me, I'm going to pull you down with me. We're going to roll for a minute. The best one wins. Because all's fair in love and war. And I don't fight pretty. I fight to win. I don't need a permit for my car or my apartment. That's true. But it may come to a point if you're locked down long enough that People might start looting and vandalizing. You never know. I live in Texas, Mystic. Um, this book is a physician's desk reference book. I bought it at the Goodwill. It's very, very thick. I'll show you what the thickness of it was. It's very thick. I was almost robbed. They tried to carjack me at the, the gas station in front of the Walmart. And I had my little granddaughter in the car seat. And she tells that story to this day, how I ran after that guy. I had the gas pump in my hand. I ran after that guy and got him out of my car, and he was caught on security camera. I was going to beat the snot out of him. He took off running. I'll ask you in Messenger later. I missed it. I totally missed something. Scared to scroll back every time I try. Oh, man. Okay. Hey, Alicia, I was going to ask you, have you ever decorated Dino masks or masks for kiddos? They're selling on Etsy like hotcakes for the kiddos. For TikTok. Uh, guess some adults too. No. I don't know what a dino mask is. Yeah. She was little at the time. She was still in the car seat. I think she was in kindergarten. But the only thing she remembers was. You better get away from my granddaughter. And I pulled him out. And started beating on him and he took off running she thinks her grandmother was like superhero Yeah. But she still laughs about it to this day. 
I saw them when I got my lotto ticket. I was aware of them. They parked behind my car with a running car and were waiting for me. Lord have mercy. I think you'd be talented at it. You're gifted at it all. I'll send you some pics and messenger. I got to go to bed, though. Being up for almost 24 hours, and I got to get up early for this project. Oh, diary, send me pictures. I would love to hear from you. You're welcome to do that, you know. I don't even know what it is, but I can be taught. <laughs> I do have some things on my list that I need to be tending to. Um here right quick and I've been needing to talk to you pretty bad anyway Carol so message me on messenger what was that Well, it's 3 a.m. I reckon I should probably get some rest before the Rugrats wake up. Take care, everybody. Be safe. Thank you for being here, Hachi. Really, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope you get a good rest. I'm going to take this tissue paper from on top and wrap it around the edges before and then I'll paint it when it's dry but this is the screaming face and this is what I copied from you guys can see the resemblance let me know. I shoot better than some of the young bucks. You guys can message me too if you want to. I'm on Hangouts and I'm on Twitter. I'm a terrible Twitter person. I rarely check and I don't have my notifications on at all. And I was a good shoot once back in the day I was a better shoot than the men that I was with actually my dad was so happy <laughs> I've been out of the army for a hot minute the newer guys had barely any range time oh man my neighbor told me she needed a gun with at least 12 bullets because I told her I never have 38 revolver I told her if you need that many bullets you're either the wrong place or you need to learn seriously those books are expensive to buy at a regular price you go no leash Yes, exactly, Mystic. I haven't shot a gun in a long time, but Me too, Joy. I've either been really busy or just not feeling well. I've just been living my life, you know. Living my life like it's golden. Living your life like it's golden. Guns scare me. I won't own one, but I'll use everything in reach to protect myself. Absolutely. I do not have a gun of my own. I'm not afraid of a gun because I know about it, you know. 
I'm not terrified it's going to get up and do something mystical and magical and accidentally shoot somebody. It has to have somebody, you know, it has to be in someone's hand. So I wasn't afraid of the gun. And I don't think it's necessary to have one either. It's your right to have one or not have one. I don't have one but of my own, but there's guns in my house. Plural. If I needed to go and get it, if I ever needed to pick it up, I'd be using it. I don't play. I don't play. And I just would pray that I'd never be put in the situation where I'd have to use that. Judy, good night, honey. Thank you for being over here. I can take anything and make it a weapon, like my baseball bat made of aluminum. I've got that, too. I had that in my car for a while. And then my son said, Mom, you're going to drive around with that baseball bat in your car. You better throw a mitt and a, a baseball in there. Because you you gonna get a ticket or put in jail for driving around like that, and you know what? I looked it up and he was right. I just love all y'all. You guys are so sweet and so loving in here in my chat. They need probable calls to search my car. Well, so far, I've never done, had given them, so. I've not ever had to have a car stopped or searched or nothing, so I've been good. I just believed him. He says, Mama, you better get that out of the car. But I was in a dark place and I was thinking about something. And I think he picked up on that. Because I, I was thinking a little bit about revenge. Let's just say. He sort of told me. You better get that out of your car. Or throw something else in there with it. You're going to get in trouble. Enjoy something. I love you too. I always enjoy talking with you and coming to your live streams. And I try to be the same offline as I am online because I don't know any other way to be. I'm just me all the time. I was feeling revengey. Yes. I know I'm not the only one in here that's ever felt revengey. Sitting out there and stalking somebody's house and going, mm -hmm. I might just handle this myself. <laughs> I didn't know because I don't think I'd look good in orange. I just need to threaten men who piss me off by my house. Okay. Someone threw a jammed gun into my backyard. I found it, thought it was a toy gun and was looking down the barrel of it. Albert said it was a real gun, so we turned it over. <gasps> Oh, gosh, Terry, you're looking down the barrel of a real gun. That scares me. I feel that to my feet, Terry. Why would you look down the barrel of it? Oh. Thank you, Al. Thank you. I got to try and sleep, but I love you all and stay beautiful, Malisha. You too, Miss Carol, with your gorgeous self. Gosh. Thank you for being with me tonight for a little while. Sweet dreams. Good night.
Um, yes, where you are, it's past 12 a.m. Where I am, it's 321 a.m. Yes, it's almost 3.30 here. Terry and I are on the same time zone. Thank God for Al, though, that day. Whew. Bless your heart, Terry. Looking down the barrel of a gun is not how to figure out if it's a toy gun or a real one, honey. Kimber says, I need to sleep also. My back is saying no more. Oh, Y'all have a great night, and Alicia. I hope to talk to you soon. And you as well, Kimber. Joy says, it's 2.22 there. It's 3.22 here. Oh, make a wish. You got your angel number straight across. Twelve twenty-two. There. Gosh, Emmy, thank you for still being here and coming back and being with me. I don't know how much longer I can sit up. I'm starting to feel it, but I wanted to get these edges covered and show you guys my ear that I've made. And I've never made an ear before. I hope you can come back. It's 3.23 here in South Carolina. I know you told me you would. I'm just expressing joy about it, Emmy. <laughs> I can be happy if I want to, as it happens on such rare occasions. <laughs> I'm good now because of you and people like you that are my tribe. Y'all know who you are. I can't wait to see it. I get bad depressive periods once in a while. I'm more afraid of using on myself when I get that down. So no guns here. It's the same for me. Exact same for me. So I don't have one handy but anything loose if i was put on the spot is a weapon there was some person outside one night trying to break into my car and i ran out there on him with a baseball bat it was that aluminum baseball bat he took off running across the street and tripped the security light to the neighbor but um he didn't stick around for me to knock on his head like I was going to do. I'd have knocked on his head till the police came or the coroner or whoever it was. But I was sitting in the living room and I heard something banging on metal. And then it occurred to me, somebody's out there trying to get a new car very, very loud. So I ran out there with loon and baseball bat. Like I said, the guy took off running across the street. Now I made a police report. And that officer said, you don't do that anymore. You don't know if he'd had a gun or what. And I said, well, I didn't think it through. It was just a reflex reaction. And he laughed. He was good natured about it. But he said, we'll just pick up the patrol in your area. We can't do anything until something happens to you. And I said, well, if he comes back, I'll be seeing you again soon. And if he don't, have a nice day and stay safe out there. And that was the end of that. I hear that, though, Terry. I hear that about the, the depression. Someone did try to break into my neighbor's apartment right across from me. They were lucky I didn't hear them or I'd have busted them. Right. I've been broke in on before when I was a young mom. 
and uh, it didn't end well for the other person so i mean i didn't hurt them or nothing i just scared them off and i did use a gun to scare them off with because there was one handy at the time because i forgot to be scared until after it was over with and that's usually the way i am in the case of emergency i'm not scared at all i'm totally fearless until after it's over with and then i'm like oh god what did i just do so that's the way i am in case of an emergency i'm absolutely awesome <laughs> but then after it's over come hold me <laughs> let's see someone did he has vengeful exes they spray painted his girlfriend's car and cut his brake lines the, he's got psycho exes they're exes for a reason there's lessons to be learned in this He's a sweet man with cancer, and he's got a CNA coming to see him. He does not need this crap. No, stress is the last thing he needs in order to try to beat this, and he can beat it. Exes are examples of what not to date again. Yes. God, don't I know. Woo. Lord, I can do a whole show one night on exes. Miranda Lambert has got a new country song out called Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. They're exes for a reason. Look up Miranda Lambert, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Yes. Poor man does not choose wisely. A lot of us don't. Lord, let the record show. I've got history. Well, the song I want you to look up by Miranda Lambert, it's called Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, just for kicks and giggles. got one of my contacts trying to come out gum powder and lead was my favorite song i loved that my dad did some weirdos in high school but i married my wonderful true love who was such a great man I was with him until he took his last breath on earth and you have one of those fairy tale romances that don't happen on this in this world very often joey
I married a narcissist and had two kids with him, stayed with him until I had enough of his cheating. He left me for another one. He's on life number three. Whew, what a relief. He's Narcissists have always got to have fresh supply. You're still young yet, mystic. My ex-girlfriend cheated on me with two guys at the same time. Wow. I'm so glad you got rid of her. People aren't the same way they used to be. Folks just don't care anymore. May never marry again, let alone date. Been six years since the divorce and no relationship. It takes as long as it takes, and you don't have to remarry. Lord knows you don't have to be in a relationship to be happy. You're not incomplete if you're single. I'll be 46 in July as well. I'm 45. You guys are all in the same age range. Mother's been married twice, just broke up with her last boyfriend, and she's in her 60s. Go, Mama! Good for her. I'm sorry for the trauma, though. It must. I've been blessed for 32 years. To... Oh, that is wonderful, Terry. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations, Terry and Al. Happy anniversary in advance. Oh, I hope you do something wonderful. Wow. Thank you. Wow. That means a lot to me. The message I just got. Um, my parents were married 60 plus years before passing away within a year of each other. Um. Wow. Bruce, thank you so much for being in here. And Terry and um, all the people that's come. And I want to make sure 
everybody tell Terry and Al happy anniversary. 32 years is a huge accomplishment. Huge accomplishment, you guys. They've been through a whole lot because um, things have changed in this world a lot in 32 years. And they've seen some styles and trends come and go. And what's acceptable wasn't it. They've had to fight the fight, in other words. And I want happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to have to let this dry. Apparently, I'm going to have to let it dry open, but it's not going to matter because I'm going to glue it together and cut it out. But Terry and Al, Al, I can't talk and it's getting late. I'm sorry for butchering such a simple name as Al. You guys deserve much respect for surviving what you've survived for 32 years. And I hope it's been wonderful. And I hope you have many, many, many more wonderful years. And thank you for coming to see me and just making it so wonderful for me tonight to come back after such a long break from from YouTube. Now, I still have glue on my hands. I'm going to try to use these wet ones. I'm hoping that this will dry again so you can see it better. Uh, when it does dry, I'm going to give it a coat of paint. It looks like it's going to take about 24 more hours for it to dry. I'm going to get the glue off my hands because I'm sure you guys want to watch that. Um, That comment that I just got means more to me than I can actually say right now on my live stream. And I'd do anything for you and your family if it was within my power to do so. You mean so much to me. And uh, I'm here anytime, day or night. Wake me up if you need me. I'll get right up and be there with you. I've met people on YouTube that were close to age as me, but never as close in age as you and I. And Nashville, Tennessee is about three hours away from me. Oracles and beyond. Hello. It's getting late. Guess I should try to get some sleep. Thank you for being here, Mystic Veteran. Oracles and beyond. Hi. Night dream and everyone in the chat. I hope you have sweet dreams. It's going to take a bit of doing to get this... Uh, Glue off my hands. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. I'll see you all in the morning. Um, I'm going to um, open up the silicone here and see if it molded really well. See if I can pull it back. Good night, Em. I hope to talk to you tomorrow.
it worked. I just deposited glue in it. But I now have a mold for the next time if I want to make an ear. It worked, you guys. It fits right in there. That was cool. It's very cool. I'm missing the chat, I know. Thank you, Bruce House. I think that's so awesome that we are almost exactly the same age and to the day. I think that's very cool, too. This is nice. This is very nice. That's the first time I've ever used that uh, silicone mold. And I made a mistake the first time. But the second time, it worked out perfectly. And this was the ear that I made yesterday. And I was speaking with Elm and Foxy online. And I made this ear with my hands and with some um, polymer clay. And tonight, I used the mold to make it so if i ever make another necronomicon book i could just put my clay in here and get the shape and then bake the shape when i take it out my sister was married to her ex lived in north little rock but i was born in stuttgart arkansas <laughs> i'm gonna have to um I did what I meant to do tonight, which was make this silicone clay mold and uh, get the back of this done, the back of this book. And uh, tomorrow I'll be able to come back and paint it and put the ear on the spine just like that and uh, start working on gluing the book together and making a box out of it. This was my first ear ever, Joey. I've never made an ear before. And I was talking to Emma on Hangouts. And to uh, I was talking to Foxy. And I made that ear. And so now I won't have to struggle. See, it's even got an ear hole in it. <laughs> Gotta check it for wax. Um, but I pulled up a picture on my phone of ear references. Oh, no, Terry. Thank you for saying so. This was, you know, we cut up, we kidded a lot about Van Gogh losing his ear, and I found it, and I'm all ears tonight. 
I just make corny jokes, y'all. It don't matter. But this is my first try. So. Uh, I'm getting so tired. Um, right now. I'm really, really tired. Uh, and I need to go lay down because my back and my legs are killing me and I need to go back to sleep but I want you guys to know you have been an absolute delight and I hope you will come back and see me again as I do want to finish this book up and uh because I want to make some pretty things what I can't hear you dream can I borrow your ear sure I'm all ears what do you, you want to whisper in my ear say so then whisper sweet nothings in my ear <laughs> I'm silly I know but I do want you guys to know you're all loved and you're thought about and thank you for your time and thank you for being here and I do hope you will come back and I hope this will be my screenshot. You never know. <laughs> but I work really, really hard. And I've got to go to the bathroom and I'm sleepy. So I'll talk with you again. I'll be up here tomorrow. Terry, thank you for being here. And each one of you, Bruce, thank you for being here. All of you guys that showed up. Suzanne, thank you. Good night. It was great to meet you, Bruce. I hope to see you around YouTube and do you live more. Yes, just keep in mind that as soon as I finish this book, I'm going to go over and do a stream over there on DLife, okay? And Emmy is a gem that's going to show me how to stream it back to YouTube while I do it. I want to finish this so it'll be one complete playlist. So... Thank you guys so much for being here. And um, it was very nice to have you. And I'll see you around next time. Thank you, WTF Mike, for the super chats and the PayPal. Thank you, Joyce Sumter, for dropping all the links. Thank you, Suzanne, for popping in at the last minute. Thank you, Eagle Eye and Diary and Kelsey and all of you great, wonderful people for stopping in. And I hope you have a wonderful night and sweet dreams. Until I see you next time, much love, good night, and I'll see you soon.